Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on in. I am Ori. Today we are going to be checking out a game called Rebel Transmute. This is a Metroidvania action game. Just came out a couple days ago. Looks like a lot of fun. I have not played it yet. Let's jump in. Let's see if this game is any good. I hope it is because it looks pretty cool. And I love Metroidvania type games. And this one sort of has um, the pixelated retro feel to it. It seems pretty cool. One year later. This is Moon Makino of the Space Urchin. This recording is an assurance. It's been one year since my mother perished in the Foray fission, fission explosion. Foray tried to pin it on the Union. Well, I've heard enough corpo speak and excuses to last a lifetime. It's time I saw the station myself. Terra-6 is, or was, a station focused on terraforming research. My mother, Wendy Makono, was a lead researcher. I never forgave her for taking a job at 4A. Warning! Current flight path enters restricted space. Pa pausing trajectory awaiting instructions per code 3.36. What are the listed finds? No finds listed. This restriction is SP enforced. Breaking an SP enforced restriction is a death sentence. The SP couldn't even enforce restrictions back home. I ain't worried. Urchin, get a scan on the planet. Scanning. Detecting various life forms. Unregistered life forms should be reported to authorities. Detecting an energy surge. No, uh, EMP taking our ship out. Okay, Surface Labs. Dr. Inya, you're finally awake. Hopefully you fully recovered in your sta stasis pod. I'm Dr. In Inaya, one of the few researchers who survived the outbreak. Not sure what you've heard, but it was, uh, not great. Enough gloom. Come find me in my lab. I'm sure we'll have much to talk about. Also, you might have to break yourself out. Those pods aren't meant to open from within. Well, I gotta run. Lots of work to do. There's a spork blood injector in the storage room nearby. Should keep you alive. Good luck. Awesome. Man, oh, what is this little, <laughs> this little pea shooter? Does it bounce me off the walls? Like it's good. Oh, it just never mind. Okay, <laughs> if I'm not moving it, it has a little bit of a pushback. But if I am moving it, oh, interesting. What is happening with these? Oh, wait, did we just find a secret? Um, I'm pretty sure I probably can't get there yet. <laughs> I don't think I can make that jump. So if you hit something, it does a pushback. But if you don't hit anything, there is no, there is no knockback on you. Or anything over that way? Let's just keep going this way. Wait, did that hurt me? No. I was looking at my little orbs, so I, I thought maybe it, an orb dropped or something. Oh my gosh, I just did a full-on loop-de-loop. Are you kidding me, game? 
Okay, maybe I am supposed to go that way. What did, what did I miss here? There's something over there, like a secret or something. See, here's another little passageway along. Okay, so I don't think I can go this way yet either. I'm not sure what that guy's dropping. Okay, so we can't destroy those pods yet, whatever those are. So I think there's something up there, but we can't do anything with that yet. Oh, okay. So there are ways to open those doors. Oh, there's a slide. Cool. Okay, press B to heal using spark blood, a volatile blue substance found on Terra 6. Gain spark blood by blasting enemies. Okay, so that heals us. Hmm. I wonder what this is going to do later, if that's going to do anything. Yikes, that was a long fall. So I, I can't get back up now, huh? I fell, t I fell too far. So destroying these things, this is some sort of currency. Okay, so a respawn has been set. Uh... So let's see, there's access augments, and then there's two other things we don't have access to yet. So, looks like we're going to have things that we can attach to us. Kind of like, um, man, I'm horrible with, I'm horrible with names. The girl 2B. What was that game called? <laughs> the one where you can, you know, the one, you know, the ones I'm talking about. Games where you can put these augments in and you have a certain amount of space and they take up more. Some things take up more space than others. God, what was that game called? I don't know why I can't even remember it. The okay, repair stations are a place to regain spark blood, tweak your exosuit, and back up your physical matter in case of injury. Oh man, they don't fall down, they just stay there in the air, huh? got juked. I'm the Barry Sanders of Metroidvanias. It's weird. It almost feels like it's peaceful, you know? Got that really just kind of calm vibe to it still. Do I have a map yet? No, I don't have a map yet. Oh, there's an inventory at some point. Cool. Okay, what is this? Oh, that hurts me. No, what? What, what, what happened? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. I can't move. Okay, now I can move. Oh, man. I feel like I got robbed there. Okay, yeah, that's gonna kill me. I'm dead. Drop a health core where you died. Oh man. Oh no, so we ooh. Oh man, so we lose a health core, huh? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough business right here. Okay, so that means I'm down one health then until I can recover that. 
What did I... Man, I don't know what really happened there. I kind of got caught off guard. I couldn't... I couldn't attack, and then I couldn't move, and then it happened so sudden. And then these things hurt me. Right? Like, it just happened so sudden. I didn't really realize what was happening. And then all of a sudden, before I know it, I'm dead. So, can I kill this thing? Do I even try to kill that thing? Oh, come on. Okay, so we activate the fight. This is not an easy fight right off the beginning, too. I wonder if I'm doing this too soon. I'm trying not to shoot straight up. I have to be really careful about where I jump, though, you know? Because I... I'm gonna land on those things if I... If I mess this up. Yikes. Hopefully this is one of the last rounds. Oh, it was. Okay. So I, I did it. <laughs> I cleared it. Uh, yay me, I guess. That was not an easy first fight, especially since I'm almost dead. Uh, a data disk containing intimate information on various foray employees likely collected in union busting efforts. Okay, so this takes me back. Um, let's see. That was exactly what I was afraid of. <laughs> I think the heal point's right in here, though. Yeah, the save. Okay. Lucky me. Okay, so <laughs> I'm assuming that's going to be my save point, too. So there's my respawn. Um, let's come back in here and see if there was anything that we missed. Because we just kind of, we just went kind of straight for that boss. What's up here? Man, this game doesn't mess around, huh? Oh, I can't get up here yet. Some sort of currency, but I don't think I can get up there. Yeah, see, there's still plenty to do around here. I don't know if I like this pushback on the gun. It's kind of helpful, like, when we're on the ground, but man, when I'm jumping around, it makes it hard because I have to... I have to keep pushing myself back to where I want to land. See, because if I, like, if I shoot, like, here and hit something, it's gonna knock me... It's gonna knock me backwards. Okay, I think I can make this jump. Ooh, I can't! Wait, I can't even get through there. Okay, well, there was that right there, so I guess that's why. Okay, so something is up. So I guess I have to learn what these symbols mean. Once I get my map, maybe I all know what they mean. Ooh! <laughs> Hello. Okay, so this is a potion station. Are you who I talk to? Shipyard bot. Sometimes I daydream. Do you know if humans daydream? Yeah, pretty often, actually. One day I'll build a spacecraft. A full spectacular working rocket. Okay. Well, good for you. Hello, another customer. Welcome. We've had quite a busy day, but I'd be happy to show you our goods. 
I'm Clang, the scavenger who runs this fine establishment along with my helpful apprentices. Augments, alloys, mag maggots, we've got it all. If you've got red flux, I'd be happy to make a trade. Flux is very useful, but hard to acquire for us bots. Okay, so let's see. Displays vital readings for enemies. Yeah, this is exactly... Why can't I remember that game? I have to look it up. I'm gonna sound... It's gonna sound so dumb when I remember what the name is. Near Automata. I didn't even... I didn't even look it up. I didn't even look it up. I just... <laughs> I started to type it in and then it just automatically came to me. Near Automata. That's the game I'm thinking of. Okay. Um... Because even this, display vital readings for enemies. So, let's see. Collect three of these to strengthen your exosuit and gain the ability to take an additional hit. Utilize a strong magnet to draw loose red flux towards the user's suit. Allows the user's blaster to fire in quick triplet bursts of reduced weapon damage. Or a spark blood creature trapped in a small pod can infuse a repair station with spark blood boost boosting its restorative power powers um let's do this one then we'll just buy this displays vital readings for enemies equip it oh i have to equip it at a repair station there's got to be a repair station in here then right maybe there's not there's got to be a double jump at some point then right okay so is that it is that all you have to offer here good luck out there moon Really, that's it? That's all you have in here? Well, thank you for the well wishes. Oh, I bet you this is a shop at some point. At some point, I bet you I could buy stuff here, because this is one of those data fragment things that I need. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? You ever wonder what lies around the corner, just past the door you can't open? I know there's something up there. Why? Because I can't reach it. As crazy as it sounds, I think I know what you mean. I don't think I can get up there yet, either. Yeah, I don't think I can go this way yet, either. There's nothing to shoot. Can't even climb these stairs. Alright, so I don't know what this thing is, but let's go with... This is the only other way I can go. Going this way. What are you? You need to use this repair station? Unfortunately, Hive hasn't been able to repair this one yet. Luckily for you, I'm here. Just say the word. Supply some red flux for the repairs and I'll get it working in no time. Sure. Man, so you gotta pay for save stations and respawns in this game. That's tough. Okay, so what did I just buy? I bought this. So I can equip that. So yeah, so yeah, they take up different sizes. See, this one's gonna take up like half a slot. These take up a quarter of a slot. So cool. So now you're gonna have to kind of pick and choose what you what you want to do here with your with your augments. I love that kind of stuff. Absolutely love it. I, I'm a huge fan of that. So what is the display stuff? Is it showing their health? Uh oh, another one of these things. scared about this one okay so this one didn't do any slime this time or whatever that stuff was yeah so this shows their health now cool ah. <laughs> can't reach it Yeah, this game is pretty sweet. This, this is a pretty sweet game. I'd be curious to know how long it is. 
Okay, so we cleared that. Yay! I wish we would get something when that exploded, though, you know? Something... Something big. I wonder... Man, I wonder how we get this. They tease so much in this game already, too. But that's every Metroidvania game. What game doesn't tease? Like, oh, you can get these things later. You just need to have the right stuff. I just hope this game has a good map. We can't... I know there's a map. See, there, top left, there's a map. We just can't access it yet. But I really hope this game does have a good map. A good map can really make or break a, a Metroidvania. Woo! Wonder if we'll get like any sort of abilities too, you know, any different types of weapons. Or special abilities. Fuse, uh, do I need a power? Or I need a fuse? Dang. Do we see where that was anywhere? I don't think I saw one around here. Let's check in here. Yep, there's our fuse. Uh, reboot initiated. Ion backup at 2%. 12 years and 35 days since last login. 12 years? No, 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 no. Voice pattern recognized. Exiting diagnostic mode. 12 years. 12 years? Moon, it's good to have you back. System power critical. Entering brevity. Oh, so I've been in that pod. <laughs> so this was our ship. Uh, so I've been in that pod for 12 years. Is that what they're trying to say? Wait, you've had a brevity mode this whole time? Listen, Urchin. Uh, oh, God. 12 years? Okay. Urchin. Locate Windy Makono. Resume life signature research. No, for scanners, EMP blast. Damn it. Take survey drive. Map the station. Locate Windy. She. She. Power critical. Eject. Survey drive. Okay, so a staple of many space faring vessels maps the surrounding terrain. Use to open your map. Guess I'm on my own again. Oh, my poor ship. Okay, well, here's our fuse. Okay, so now we can see our map. Um, okay, so let's see. We can we can see our repair stations, our travels, our elevators, and our vendors. You can kind of... I don't know if that's locked doors. Mm, hold on can't really it says zoom in but then when you zoom in it just does that um interesting okay okay so we have our it's weird because it shows i'm in a room right where there's a lot of stuff but there's not or maybe that's just the general area yeah okay so it's not even breaking it up room. Oh, well, I guess maybe because this is a door. That's probably why it doesn't like that. Okay, let's go do that fuse. Wish I could peek down, but you can't peek down either. Oh, wait. There you go. You can. You just have to hold it for a, se a, a little longer for like a second or two. Oh, here's that electric guy that I apparently can't kill. Well, hopefully this will give me something to kill him in here, right? Hey, are you all right? I was. I was gathering gear, scrap, oddities. But Hive's code calls to me to have a purpose. Serve. Trust me, if something's trying to hack you after trapping you in a room, it's not good. I... 
You speak reason, human. I should be getting back to the scavenger now. I'd gift you some of my finds, but an apprentice should defer on matters of price. Visit us in the shipyard, scavenger. Clang will be more than happy to sell you some of my finds. Thanks for the invitation. Stay safe, little bot. You're a good one. Okay, so... This guy's gonna go back to the shop then. But I still can't do... Well, I guess I can run past him, huh? Wait, is that gonna hurt me? <laughs> oh, can't believe I didn't get hit there. Well, now what? What is this? It's another person. Oh my gosh, no, how do I get to you? How do I get to you, other human? Is there another... Is there another switch somewhere? There's not one in there. Well, the mystery of it all. What is this? Oh, is this her? Ah, so you must be Moon. It's good to see you again. After all this time, how are you holding up? You know my name? Listen, if you don't want to, f if you don't want me to flip you off in like an extra ex existential way, you better explain. So feisty. As you know, 13 years ago, a system-wide failure caused catastrophic damage. Many workers died within days, an outburst of spark blood getting most of them, but some were resistant. Any remaining workers I found, I helped to stasis pods, much like I did with you. I found you after that nasty crash you had. Your ship was barely salvageable. You were beat up pretty bad, a horrible sight, so I did what I could and got you in a pod. The whole time your ship's AI kept calling me Moon, and I, and now here you are, alive and well, Moon in the flesh. And that pod did what? Kept me alive? Listen, I'm sure you were just a robot following protocol. Ha! Robot? Honey, you're talking to an honest-to-god human being, just without my body, as you can see. That's horrifying? I was luckier than the rest, but I couldn't sustain myself forever. Shortly after saving you, I uploaded myself into this machine and a plan to save the others, too. If you find any remaining stasis pods, download their imprints and bring them to me. Uh, why? You work for Foray. You claim to be human. You put me in stasis for 12 years. Because we can help each other out. Your ship was pinging endlessly for a very specific life signature. A life signature it finally located. Wendy. Wendy Makono, lead scientific researcher on Terra 6. I now know precisely where she is. You help me out, I'll upload that data to your map. Deal. Wonderful. Now if you don't mind disposing of a pesky security drone for me, it keeps interfering with my work. It just passed the security door at the bottom of the lab. I'll make sure you have clearance. Consider it done. Don't forget imprints. Bring me imprints, darling. Cool. Okay, so now we have, like, our quest. Okay. And that's going to be it for Rebel Transmute. Uh, cool game. Uh, I definitely want to keep playing this, but again, that's up to, up to you guys. If you want to keep seeing this game being played, let me know, and I will keep playing it. It's it came out a couple days ago on Steam, so if you like what you saw, feel free to check it out. And that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day.